morning. Amy's driving. We're on our way to the rocket field. Yay! <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, so the audio that we got at the field was terrible. And so I'm doing this voiceover. Um, here I'm explaining that the thrust plate for our launch rail is started life as a Tandy 1000 EX RF shield. So now I've figured out what to do with those. Um, our launch pad is made out of several pieces of pre-cut two foot P uh, PVC pipe. And um, the rail is attached with a couple of 14, number 14, two and a half inch wood screws. Also, Amy's wearing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle socks, and that's awesome. All right, having set up our launch pad, we are now setting up our launch controller. Note the socks. Uh, we're using a GoBox controller, which runs off of a 12 volt power supply. And in this case, I'm just uh, putting together a couple of six volt lantern batteries in series so that they will add up to 12 volts, and we are gonna test that, and it's gonna work just fine. It's designed to be hooked up to a car battery, but A, I did not want this anywhere near our cars, and B, I did not want to lug my car battery over here to the field. Oh, 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 here's a close-up. Ta-da! Easy peasy. <laughs> um, all right, so um, now we're going to put the nose hood on, and if you would grab the orange duct tape, we're going to duct tape this thing together. Okay. And the duct tape totally matches it the really rocket It really does! <laughs> I love it. I'm an issue here with the... Everybody get inside the, thank you. All right, that was easy. All right, here's your duct tape. It's imperceptible, Amy. They're the exact <laughs> I, I, same it, color. It looks even better. I than can't it does even it. tell that there's a duct will, tape on this rock. I'll just it up for you. I mean, it's got it, it's got it. <laughs> I'm always amazed at the things that we don't have to buy because Taylor just has them. Right. I have red. That's it. That's because of my motorcycle. Okay. So, because we want the rocket to open at Apogee here. So, this part, the coupler down here has been glued in place. Mm -hmm. And here's our parachute. This is not moving. And I'm going to unprep it and then reprep it. Um, so, here's our parachute. Also orange because of high visibility. And... Here are. <laughs> this is why you reprep things. All right, I am very tall. <laughs> I never stand. <sighs> okay. I do not want this tangled. If I can at all help it. You're perfect. Okay. So. Get tiny thing out of this. All right. So. Whoa, falling Ooh. over. I'm gonna do like this. So we're going to fold it, and fold it, and wrap it, and then it's going in its little nest. Blanket. It's a little blanket. It is a little cold. We want it to be warm. We want it to be cozy. We want it to be snuggled. We want it to be, actually we want it the opposite. We want it to stay <laughs> not on fire. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we've z-folded the, the length of the... I'm just going to stick that right down in there. So we're using the Nomex blanket to protect the parachute from the ejection gases instead of using that baffle system. Right. This is this is the alternative to that. And now... And that uses the uh, weird... Oh god. Alright, make that Stuff work. Stuff looks like you can get screwed. Shove all that together. Uh, I believe in you. <laughs> Alright. Let's, let's set the rocket. Oh, okay. I'm happy about holding. Come in. 
Throwing too much. All right. Uh, okay. Now for the business end. You would open that pack of motors. Where I have simulated this Maybe. in open rocket. It's one of those impossible. And we are going to be oh, flying no, a 20-4 F motor. Um, we're using a single-use Aerotech motor. No jet. Um, and I did check the rocket weighs less than 3.3 pounds. It way less. And the uh, propellant weight is um, way less than 125 grams. So we don't need an FAA waiver for this flight. We are another within the rules. Power. So we just slot the motor in and screw this back on. <laughs> it's um, going well so far. It's going well. I'm good at it. It's not happy about that. We know it'll work. There we, we go. just have to catch the thread. Just gotta get it right. And that should prevent both the motor from launching itself through the rocket. It, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's being held in place in both directions. So it will not launch itself through the rocket, and then when it's spent, it will not fall out the back. It this will stay where we put it. Is our igniter? Were there two of these? Or are there two um, in this I have not altered the contents of this. There must be I two really in here. And every time I see this, I think I can feel the world's tiniest rocket. Or toilet paper. Well, you roll. Know, I think that when I see those too, I think that with paper towel roll. I think that with the giant dollhouse paper towel. That the okay, this has to be two igniters. Why is it twisted together? One. So that's one. And that's two. They are literally twisted together down here. Hmm. I guess that's how they're. That's how they wanted to do that, I guess. Yeah. That seems weird. We only need one <laughs> for launch. Okay. I did it. Alright, so when we get to the pad, we'll put the igniter in. You're gonna stick it all the way up till it stops at the top because it's gotta reach up to that delay grain. Mm -hmm. And then these wires we will attach to those clips just like we do with low power. And then we will be ready to go. The key is in my pocket. Um, it is not in the pocket. You're not. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna <gasps> launch our rocket. <laughs> And here's Amy putting the rocket onto the launch rail and having having real success with that. Mm, come on, you can do it. You got this. Aha! Slides on like a dream. Well, that's just perfect. And now we're gonna be ready. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> with this muddy field. Yeah. Now, notice that the the nozzle. That's as far as that goes. That can't be right. What do you think? Yeah, it's not keep going. That's as far as it goes. I no. cannot keep going. There is no keep going. Wait. Wait. Keep going. Yeah. All right. When you get it all the way to the top, that's probably it. Okay. Well, we'll keep going until you get there. There you go. That's about right. Well, this is to come back out again. Okay. So here I'm demonstrating how to put the rubber band around the nozzle to hold the igniter in place. But I don't really trust it, so I'm also going to add a piece of tape. And then we will. Yeah, come on, get it on. There we go. Ha ha! So that's working. And then we add some tape. Doing voiceover is fun. I do like the channel sticker on the fin though. That that was awesome. That was Amy. That was all Amy. All right, now all we have to do is attach our clips. And we'll be ready to launch. I am here explaining that you want to 
rub the clips together to make sure that when you attach them, the rocket doesn't suddenly go off. And the technique is perfect. Yeah. So it worked, it worked great, it was awesome. We're jumping up and down and happy. We got a little mud on one fin, but no damage, no zippering. Perfection achieved, which is pretty unusual given how well the build went. But the launch went great. Yay!